I am definitely aging and dating myself, but I was doing dishes today and the song came on by Tammy Wyna, D-I-V-O-R-C-E. And I was thinking, yeah, yeah, some of my clients, that's the road they are headed towards. Of course, sometimes people come to me with a plan of divorce and by the time we're done, they're renewing their you know, marriage vows in, in another country, another city, state or Hawaii or whatever. But um, the reason I wanted to say get on here is because we have this society and cultural belief that divorce is a red mark. It's a bad thing. It's a negative thing. It's the end all be all. And really it's not. One of the things that I try to um, tell people is that divorce is almost like a fork in the road. You are not ending your relationship. You're simply changing the direction of your relationship because if you have kids, you're going to forever parent, co-parent. Um, uh, you know, if you uh, get a divorce and it's amicable and civil um, you're, you know, you're always going to have a special place in this, in your heart for this person. So divorce does, all it means is, you know what, we are healthier, um, walking this path alone or, or not with each other, not necessarily alone. So, um, just, I, I, again, I want you to reframe, uh, the inner dialogue that you have. You're not a failure. Um, this is not a red dang. This is not, you know, nothing. It's, you know what? I've come to the understanding that pursuing life right now without this person as my partner is the best. It's, it's healthier. It's the healthiest. Keep in mind, oftentimes when we stay with somebody, um, cause we want to help them. We don't help them. We actually hinder them. We hinder their growth. Sometimes people need to feel their autonomy by actually leaving and you're actually doing something better for them. Um, now staying because you want to stay for the kids. That's a good secondary reason. It's a great secondary reason. Keep in mind, kids would often much prefer living, um, uh, being from a broken home than actually living in one. So um, just some things to consider. If you can work it out, work it out. I say, man, turn every stone and do the best you can to stay committed, to stay married, to stay under the same roof, to really work on things. But if you can't, you can't. Own it. Be happy. And, and, and uh, look at that fork in the road as an opportunity. You know what? I'm not bringing my relationship to an end. I'm just simply changing course, changing direction.